if you want Caucasian lady, you can also DM us. Happy, Happy New Year, Year, guys! All right, so it is 2022, and um, we're filming this in December. Um, but so one year ago, we came to my brother's house, and we're in this very same hot tub. And I was on the hot seat. Yeah, but that was our very first video. Too. Very first video. <laughs> and about a year later, we're back in the same hot tub. Yeah. And by this time, it's going to be JMP Swirl on the hot seat mm -hmm. instead of me being by myself. Yes. So we're going to do uh, these Q&As that you guys have been sending in. Um, yeah, questions and assumptions you guys have about us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we're going to kind of discuss them and go through all that. So stay tuned. <laughs> all right, so... The very first question we have is, how do you deal with racism from your husband's friends stroke mates? Uh, do you want to go first or you want me to just... Uh, go? Yeah, probably you. Alright, so I don't experience any form of racism from his family or his friends. Maybe I haven't paid attention much, but to be honest, I haven't experienced any from them. So I just roll with them. Unless they are racist, but secretly hiding it. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're hiding it pretty well, because I've known all my friends for like seven plus years, and none of them are, are racist, so. Yeah. And um, no, we don't think we encounter anything. We have several, or a couple of black friends, and I mean, it's always been cool. Yeah, and his colleagues from work are very nice. Definitely. Yeah. So, no racism from them. And funny enough, well, I'll say... God willing, we live in a neighborhood where we don't experience that. I mean, I don't experience that. He doesn't experience that. We don't experience that. <laughs> so we are grateful. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. The second question is, I believe God makes everything possible, but what advice would you give any guy hoping to get a Caucasian lady to marry? <laughs> um, since you're the guy, I'm going to make you answer this question. Okay. If I have any tip, I'll chip in. Okay. Uh, well, I would say hopefully you're already in a relationship with a Caucasian woman because you enjoy her company and you're not just dating her because she's Caucasian. Um, I mean, if she fell for you, you know, just keep doing what you're doing. You know, have a goal. Um, seem like you're committed to marry instead of just, you know, being boyfriend and girlfriend for 45 years. Um, just, you know, be committed. And if a few guys like each other, that should be it. I don't think there's any trick specifically for any uh, for Caucasian women to get married. Um, um, yeah, I so I would say if you want to find it, if you want to marry a Caucasian lady, I mean, I don't think it's a bad thing to like dream of. So you can do online dating. You know, in case where you are, there are no Caucasian ladies there. You can do online dating and see if you can find someone genuine who you want to spend the rest of your life with. And Caucasian women are just like any other women, okay? The only difference is the, is the color or the race, <laughs> but we are the same. Yeah. Like, same. So just um, talk to them like how you talk to any other lady, but just know that, of course, there'll be differences in upbringing and culture. Just keep that in mind when you're talking to them. And yeah. if you want a Caucasian lady, go for it. That's all I can say. And in case we didn't answer your question well, you can also DM us and we'll probably go more into details. Sounds good. Yeah. Next, moving on. Number three. <laughs> this is juicy, uh, guys. Okay. I get this question a lot. Oh. Okay, so how are their erections and performances <laughs> compared to ours? Okay, so the person who asked is a black li is a black guy, and he want to know how erections of Caucasians or people like my husband are and how they perform in bed. Guys, there's no difference. Okay? It's just like any other meal out there. But of course, meals, it's not every meal that is the same. Every individual have their own um, strength or the way they perform in bed. But generally, yes, he's, yes, it's perfect. And he does very well in bed. So... <laughs> I hope that answers your question. I'm not even exaggerating or lying because it's my husband. I'm saying the truth. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's uh, move past number three. Let's not stick on that one too long. <laughs> Is that uncomfortable for you? Of course. <laughs> uh, but you, um, so an assumption is you both like to sleep in? 
Um, we, when we can. Yeah, when we can, but mostly he doesn't like to sleep in much because yeah. when I mean, he does, I think he has like a back pain. So yeah, when I lay in bed too long, back starts to feel funny and it's just like, eh, I could, I'd rather be up moving around. Yeah. So I try not to sleep in too often. Right. And I mean, you work, so like Monday through Friday, I'm getting up at six, got to get to work, so there's no option of sleeping in. Yeah. But. No, yeah. it's getting too warm in here. <laughs> a little hot, but. Okay. We um, will keep going. Uh, the next question is, when did either one of you know that the other one was the one for you? Um, uh, I think, yeah, go ahead. Okay, I think I knew he was the one for me after our third date. Um, I don't know about you, but he was like um, down to earth. He was very supportive. He he loves the work and the word of God. Okay, he lives his life like that. He's not perfect, so you know all that in one made me feel like he was the one for me. I don't know. I would say parts are similar. I might have been a little further in the relationship just because I'm more like analytical, a um, little less emotional. So I wanted to wait just a little longer. Um, but yeah, same reasons. I'm a new pearl of God. I knew she'd make a great mother. She has work ethic. Um, she's beautiful. So oh. I mean, all those reasons. Of course, I want to stick around that for the rest of my life. So I'd probably say three, four months in, somewhere around there. But, I mean, I was thinking that from probably the third, fourth date. But I wanted to make sure, so you know, we kept going. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So moving on to our next question. Um, we assume it's an assumption mm. okay so we assume jesse loves pearls cooking and trying new Ghanaian dishes yes 100 percent. yes yeah my my husband here is not picky at <laughs> all at all he's very uh, adventurous with anything and mm. i'm so grateful to god for him but he eats anything you give him and he loves meals <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to say about that oh yeah snails slugs i like trying to eat like octopus slugs? well maybe not slugs but <laughs> I never they're, made him that. They're in the category of snails, so I <laughs> but uh, yeah, foo foo, bangku, any kind of fishy dishes, I'm all game for it. So. My jollof rice. Jollof rice. You mentioned that. I mean, that's not a that. weird thing to eat, though. It's just rice. Okay. If I'm gonna be picky. I'm okay, gonna you be mean picky like on real snails. Real African stuff. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Good. So yeah, not picky at all. Yeah. All right. So um, do you, do both, you both cook? Uh, which African dishes do you enjoy on a on a regular basis? Yes, we both cook, but he's very good when it comes to breakfast. Like he makes the best breakfast. Mm, I'm a whiz with eggs. <laughs> do all sorts of things. Yeah. Well, mainly I do like three things, but I do them really well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, the, eggs, and the other part of the question was, uh, which African dishes do you enjoy on a regular basis? I mm. think that should go to you. Really? Uh, African yeah. I mean, do you enjoy on a regular basis? I mean, we eat light soup, pretty regular, peanut butter soup, um, gel off rice. Those are probably the more simple ones that we do more frequent. Um, I mean, we fry some plantains and yams, so those are pretty pretty consistent as well. But yeah, she cooks pretty much all of that. I've learned to do yams and plantains, but that's easy. So. But yeah. She handles all the messy dishes. Messy? Well, like many ingredients, and there's always stuff going around. But yeah, and they get a little messy. <laughs> Alright. Uh, give me a pass for that. Okay, okay. okay, guys, our very last question. And this question has been asked. In fact, it's not even a question, it's an assumption. Mm. And a lot of people make that assumption about us, especially me. Okay? You married Jesse for his green card. Well, That's for your it. green card, I don't need one. No, I married you. Oh yeah, I married Jesse for to get a green card. Like uh -huh. that's the reason for me marrying him. No, I don't even know why you ever think like that. I understand people do that, but I didn't marry him because of green card. Okay, no. I married him because I love him and I want to go to the end of this world with him. And even before I met him, like I mean, you, I actually came to the U.S. because of school. Okay, I came for graduate studies. I did my masters. I started. I mean, I applied for PhD. I got, I got into the PhD program. So my plan was to do PhD and hopefully find a job here in the U.S. 
and through that job I'll get my green card. But lucky enough, someone came my way, someone special. <laughs> God yeah. was in my way, we got married, mm-hmm. and that's gonna make the green card process much more easier than you know waiting for all the years of PhD and work. Yeah. But I mean she's still doing the PhD. I'm still so it's doing not it. like she got married and she dropped out because she's got an easy passage. <laughs> I mean, clearly this is like a job. She still wants to continue her education to get the PhD. And she's still doing the plan that she set out to do. Yeah. It's just, you know, now she's married. Yeah, I already had my plans of how to get a green card. I didn't marry him because of that. No. I, I grew up in a Christian home and I know what family is like. It means a lot to me and I'll never get married because of that. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm glad I came across him and it's going to make my process much more easier you know mm-hmm. hopefully to be done in a few months but yeah we'll see how that goes yeah and then we did a video about that i think he was taking out my hair and then we give an update about the process but i'm think i'm going to make a full video about it when i get my green card to tell yeah. you how yeah. it went yeah. well, so you guys should stay tuned about that Definitely. stay tuned on that <laughs> all right guys yeah. well, thanks for watching on this uh, steamy q a Yes, and if we didn't answer any of your questions well, please DM us and we'll be glad to have one-on-one chats with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if you enjoy watching this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share with friends who you think would benefit from this video, and subscribe to support our group. Thanks, guys. See you Ciao. next video. And Happy New Year once again, guys. Yay.